And that's why some listings will show up at position two, three, or four, where other listings won't even show all the way to pages two, three, four, five, or maybe even never, you know? What's going on guys, Bashar Katu here. Welcome to this channel. If this is your first time, consider subscribing as I drop brand new content every single week about selling on Amazon. If you are returning, welcome. Thank you very much for being part of this channel. Consider giving this video a thumbs up and also type in the comment section what more you guys like to see of this channel because your comments honestly shape the future content of our channel. You know, nowadays people can really start a business from almost anywhere in the world with a few hundred dollars, maybe a few thousand. And I personally remember when I started, you know, our businesses, our retail businesses, let's say my one of my last retail businesses, the restaurant that actually burned down, um, you know, we invested hundreds of thousands of dollars, not to mention the actual man hours that we had to put in and be there physically, right? So the thing about, you know, having an online presence or having an online business, the thing that customers view when they are arriving to your website or to your sales page is that sales page or is that website. That's how you are selling your product, your service, whatever it is that you have for sale. So it's very important that, you know, people have a great first impression and then you take them through the selling process until it is time for them to click the button, add to cart, or you know, uh, whether if it's maybe booking a call with one of your team members, or whatever the case may be, and whatever it is exactly that you are offering. Now, obviously, in our case, it is that we are selling on Amazon, and, and that there are a few things that really go inside of that listings that have to be literally perfected. Otherwise, you can blow sales without you even knowing it. Now, before I go any further, our winner for last week's video is Elizabeth Ramirez. Elizabeth, if you are seeing this, please drop your name in the comment section. Also, if you guys want to be part of the weekly giveaway, all you have to do is drop below BJKU in the comment section. Now, what I'm going to share with you guys are three tips and three things you have to know that actually make up a great listing that actually sells. Now, when you go to Amazon and you type anything, let's say you type um, iPhone 10 cover cases, the first three things that you are actually going to see are the title, the picture, the main picture, and also the price. And those things honestly are the most important when it comes to you as a consumer clicking on that listing or passing on to the next listing. And those are going to really shape up the conversion rate and really how you know successful or not successful your listing or your product is going to be. Now, speaking of conversion rate, very important thing, and you guys need to write this down. When it comes to conversion rate, it is important that your listing converts at a minimum of 10 to 12 percent, preferably anywhere between 15 to 20 percent is really excellent. Anything above that is major. Now, if you're like Bashar, but what does that even mean? If you go to your seller central and then you go to reports, business reports at the bottom, you can actually track listing by child and you're going to see what is called a uh, percentage session conversion rate. And then that really is going to tell you what kind of a conversion rate you have. Meaning if let's say you have a, let's call it 20%, right? Just for ease of numbers. That means every 10 people that land on your listing, two of them are going to buy, which is an actual excellent uh, conversion rate. Now, oftentimes when you first launch a brand new product, your conversion rate might be low, but then you want to track the first 30 days and then compare it moving on and maybe even compare it to every two weeks to kind of see how things are changing as you are changing things within your listing or you are optimizing. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and jump into the first thing that really makes up your listing. And that's the title, as I mentioned, but really even more importantly, it's the keywords that you use in your listing. Now, a couple of things that you guys have to understand is that the keywords that you are indexed for or your listing is indexed for start as follows or go as follows. Number one is the most important field is really your title. Your title is probably the most important field that Amazon indexes for a keyword. So that's why you're going to see that oftentimes even titles are turning more into like a keyword kind of field, not really something that makes sense. And, and Amazon is trying to force sellers to really use it as more of like something that makes sense, not just you know, kind of keyword phrases that almost don't make sense and don't fall together. So that's something you have to watch out for. But your title is the most important thing. The second important thing is going to come your backend search terms, and then it's going to be your bullet points and then your description. Now, one thing that you have to know about how to generate full optimizable keywords is 
Number one, I personally like to look at the top 10 sellers, collect all of their titles, and then start picking my, uh, you know, the, the, the keywords that I personally like. The second method is I actually go into uh, generating a reverse ASIN on specific uh, uh, ASINs that I am trying to, let's say, compete with, or those are, you know, I know those are my competitors or the highest uh, selling uh, uh, listings in that marketplace. Now, I personally use Cerebro from Helium 10. If you guys are interested in Helium 10, there's a link below where you guys can get a 50% off your first month if you go through our link. So title is really one of the most important things. Now, the second thing is going to be your picture, your main image. And the picture and the main image is really very important because that's kind of the first impression that people are going to get about your listing. And as you guys know and may hear and have heard is that people eat with their eyes before their mouths. Well, the same thing when it comes to buying. People buy with their eyes before their hands or fingers or whatever you want to call it, right? So, and I'm pretty sure like next time you go to Amazon or go to any website, like try this, especially Amazon, you know, look at those things, you know, look at the picture and look at if the main image actually influences how you make your decisions, your buying decisions. So it's very important that you guys spend an adequate time with really creating a perfect picture, especially your main image, because that's going to really make up a lot of your sales. They're going to come from that main image. You know, another thing that a lot of people don't really care for, don't even look at is your selling price. Now, when you first launch your product, you want to really focus on launching a product with a small, you know, like a lower selling price than you really want to be at. And it's very important that you do your research beforehand, before listing your product, sourcing and doing anything really to understand what your market looks like and how much you can actually get for your product. Let's say if you, you know, figured that you can probably sell your product for, let's call it $19.99, right? And you're like, you know what, but I want to eventually get to maybe $24.99. I would even start at, you know, $17 or $16 and make sure that, you know, at least that number is your break-even number, right? If you follow our formula, which, you know, I talk about in previous videos, which is being at 25% of selling price, um, your cost being at 25% of selling price, then you should be able to have enough money or enough margin where even if you sell it for below what you really want to be at, you should be profitable or at least breaking even. So breaking even in the beginning is okay as long as you are using to rank. And another thing you got to understand also is that when you first launch a product, you're not going to have any reviews or maybe not as many reviews as your competitors, right? So it's super important that you start low and then as you start ranking higher and getting organic ranking and organic sales, then you can start, you know, increasing your price. And to be honest with you, oftentimes I've realized actually, as I increased my price, so did my sales. And sometimes because people connect, you know, uh, price with, with quality, with value. And it's just like how Gucci and Louis Vuitton can get away with selling you four or five, $600 belts where, you know, if you go to Macy's and pick up just a, a no brand or like Calvin Klein or something belt, you know, you're, you're not going to pick it up for more than $20, $30, $50, you know, because it's the price that goes with the brand, with the quality. People kind of tied up with quality, with value. So once again, to recap exactly what we talked about here is number one, you've got your keywords and that has to do with your title because that's one of the first things that people see when they go to Amazon. Second thing is your pictures. Third thing is your selling price. And if you have all those things figured out and, and perfected, your listing will go out there to completely crush it. Now guys, I really hope that you guys enjoyed the last few minutes we've been together and that, you know, what I discuss here really shed some light on your quest and answer some of your questions. Now, if you're like, Bashar, I'm, I really love this Amazon thing and I've been going into it, or maybe I've tried it and just haven't been able to succeed and I'd rather have you really walk me through it because you seem, you know, knowledgeable about what it is that you're doing. What I've done is I've actually set aside a few time slots on our team's calendar where they'll jump on a call with you, answer some of your questions, and really figure out a roadmap to take you to the next level and see if working together is a good fit. So if that's something of interest to you, the first link in the description will take you to our calendar. Go ahead and book a time and let's chat. But outside of that, guys, be sure I get to hear. Thank you very much for tuning in. Go ahead and check out those couple of videos that I've got here for you. Um, as I said, if it's your first time, consider subscribing. I'll see you guys next week. Have yourselves a great day. Take care.